in August 2015, that then Permanent Secretary of the Public Service, Jimmy Ramafa, was arrested by the Office of the Inspector General of Government on charges of embezzling over 88 billion shillings. Ramafa and his accomplices remitted the money to the National Social Security Fund on behalf of public servants, well knowing that such a category of workers do not contribute to the fund. He was jointly charged with now deceased former principal accountant in the ministry, Christopher Obey, and the then director of research in the Ministry of Public Service, Stefan Chiwanuka Kunsa. On 11th November 2016, Justice Lawrence Gidudu of Anti Corruption Court found Ramafa and his co accused guilty of the offence. Ramafa was sentenced to seven years in prison for what Justice Gidu do termed as syndicated corruption crime. Ramafa and his group were ordered to make good of the loss and refund 50 billion shillings to government. On 21st December 2019, Ramafa was handed an additional nine-year jail term for conniving the now deceased lawyer Bob Kasango to steal 16.4 billion shillings, which was meant to compensate pensioners. President Museveni pardoned the convicts under Article 121, Subsection 1 of the Constitution and on advice of the Advisory Committee on Prerogative of Mercy. He's more than 65 years old, uh, therefore in the category of the elders he was qualified. Two, uh, he has had ailments from non-communicable diseases, and, uh, but we have been, he has been on treatment, but still he has been uh, earmarked for that. But besides this, uh, the overall principle was that irrespective of having caused loss of money to government, he had dedicated his, his life to the service of this country for very many years. Because at one time he was the longest serving permanent secretary this country had. And it is on those grounds that I think the committee and the president agreed with the Uganda Prison Service and, have he, and had him. Frank Baine, the Uganda Prison spokesperson, explains the category of people who can be pardoned by the president. All those prisoners on the death row that have concluded their appeal process. Uh, the convicts, elderly convicts that have actually finished more than three quarters of their sentence. The suckling mothers and pregnant women of petty offenses that have finished more than a quarter of their sentence. Baini elaborates how the pardoned convicts will go home. If this document had come early, even by the end of the day, they should have gone. But we think by the end of tomorrow, they all should have left. Raymond Tamale, NTV.